Hi, this is Candace from the Pooper Scoopers, and I am here with Dr. Lisa from the Welcome Wagon to talk to you about ear infections. Um, we'll have people, or we've had, I've had to call Lisa and ask um, about stinky ears or itching of ears, and I wanted to talk to her about um, what some of the causes are, um, what are maybe some things you can do at home to keep your dog's ears clean, and then when you need to call the vet. Hi. Um, ear infections are a really common problem with our pets, um, and certainly dogs with big floppy ears, um, dogs that like to swim, anything that causes excessive heat, moisture in the ears, um, sets up your dog for an ear infection. There's a normal population of bacteria and yeast that live on our skin. Um, our ears are just an extension, really, of our skin, and when they overgrow, we end up with an ear infection. Um, signs of an ear infection, your, your dog should always have nice, light pink, odorless ears, um, not scratchy, not itchy. So when you see your dog shaking uh, their head, any odor, any odor out of the ears um, is abnormal. Um, redness, um, crying or painful ears. Running their ear across the couches, running, running their, their ear across, across the, the carpet. Couch. Exactly. <laughs> your dog has got an ear problem. These are not normal behaviors. Um, so you know, the things that you can do at home, and, and certainly you should be doing this on a regular basis, is checking your dog's paws, ears, mouth, all those things. Um, really, I recommend weekly, just so they're used to the idea of having um, those body parts handled. But taking a peek, um, assessing to make sure that, like I said, they're, they're nice and pink, healthy, odorless. Um, any of those other signs would be cause for concern and a reason to call your veterinarian. Cleaning the ears out, you can again do it on a weekly basis. I usually keep a little container with cotton balls and some apple cider vinegar and water mixture. Um, sometimes a little tea tree oil mixed in there is a good natural antimicrobial and antifungal. Um, use the cotton balls to clean out any normal waxy debris. If you find that your dog's um, building up debris though on a daily basis, that's abnormal as well. So once a week should be plenty. Some people will clean out after um, bathing or swimming, again just with a drying agent like the apple cider vinegar um, so that we can um, hopefully prevent an ear infection. Um, Anything else that you wanted to ask me, Kendra? Not really. I think we just kind of get, the big thing is people will sometimes say, he doesn't have an ear infection, but his ears smell. And I try to always make it clear to our clients, um, and I'm not a vet, but nothing should smell. Except for the, the poop that's on the ground, nothing should smell. You shouldn't have bad breath or bad ears or, or that kind of stuff. So if it's something that comes up and, like you said, more than an inch, a, an itch or two, um, it's probably something you might want to look into and contact your vet. And if it's repeated, I guess, you know, you guys would look more into the reasons why is like allergies or... Absolutely. Um, Food allergies, kind of environmental allergies... Mite infestations, um, you know, parasites can be a problem with some dogs. Certainly, again, some breeds are predisposed because of allergy issues or the anatomy of the ear canal. Um, but all of those things can set a dog up for repeat ear infections. And over time, if you've got one infection and it leads to another and another, again, the, the anatomy of the ear canal will change. You'll have more scar tissue and a narrowing um, and of the ear. And as much as we love, I, we use Dr. Lisa, but as much as we love the vet and we love Dr. Lisa, I know that sometimes um, added bills can be... Not as much fun, um, but I just kind of think that if I had an ear infection and I've had ear infections, um, they're not comfortable for me, and so I wouldn't want my dog to be uncomfortable either. So um, if you have any questions that I can help you with, I'm always in the office, or you can drop us an email or go to our website, everythingpet.net. Um, um, if you want to contact Dr. Lisa, um, you can go visit her website, which is... It's www.thewelcomewagon, and wagon is spelled W-A-G-G-I-N.com. Yep, we're happy to help. Thank you. Thanks.